What is up, everybody? It seems that we have gradually accepted the fact of Lionel Messi being a PSG player. He has already managed to have a thorough training session with the club and enter the pitch in a Parisian jersey. So this is definitely not a dream. Do you know how else PSG benefited from the transfer of the legend? Having invited Lionel Messi to the team, Paris Saint-Germain received two more Messi's offsprings as a gift. According to the publication L'Equipe, Thiago and Matteo Messi have already been enrolled in the Parisian academy and will build up their football careers there, while their father breaking records in the PSG shirt. Leo would be glad to send his third son to the academy, though he is still too young for football. Theodor Messi is only three years old. What are the prospects for Thiago and Matteo at PSG? Should they even waste time on this academy? Or is that arrival a real gift of fate? To begin with, check if you click the subscribe and like buttons. Done? Then let's get going! Leo himself came to the PSG Academy office to register his boys in the new teams. It could have been done by anyone else, but for Messi this is an important step. He loves his sons very much, so he showed up in person. Did PSG pay something for the transfer of the Messi brothers? At this age, the children still have no contracts, and Leo could take his sons out of La Masia at any time, even if it was not connected with the move. So the Parisians didn't pay a dime for the Messi brothers either. As it's written in the French media, Thiago will perform for the U9 or U10 team, while Matteo was assigned to the U7 team. Agree, it would be difficult to take Thiago and Matteo to train at La Masia when they live in Paris. So, whatever one may say, they had only one direct road to the PSG Academy. These sons of the main squad players were often involved in the PSG school. For example, Zlatan Ibrahimovic and Thiago Silva had their sons studying here, so Messi is not the first. By the way, sending sons to the PSG Academy is not part of Leo's contract, so he himself wanted to send the kids to this exact football school. The reaction of supporters to the transfer of Thiago and Matteo to the new football school has been different. PSG fans welcomed the boys very warmly. Just have a look at this. Just imagine, Thiago Messi enters the academy and spans his entire career at PSG. It would be incredible. No pressure, kids. Did you expect them to travel every day from Paris to Barcelona every evening for training? Fans of Barcelona, however, are not very happy about this turn of events. Are you happy, Laporta? I have resigned myself to Messi's transfer, but the departure of Matteo and Thiago. Laporta losing three masses in one transfer window alongside Griezmann. Laugh my ass off. These will be two difficult years for the Messi family. Messi will turn to Barca in two years. Thiago and Matteo will return to our academy. Calm down, they'll be back in two years. Just because their dad is Messi doesn't mean they'll be any good. Whose side are you on? Did you appreciate the transfer of the Messi brothers to PSG or do you share the indignation of the Barcelona fans? Write your opinion in the comments below. We believe that the PSG Academy is a perfect option for the guys for the very first major steps in football. Let us explain why. Firstly, it'll be much simpler for Messi family to take the guys to training. The Academy of Red and Blues is located approximately in the same place where the main team is practicing. In that case, their dad will even be able to bring the little lads to training himself, in case the schedules coincide. Besides, Leo will also be able to visit their sessions and show a master class for the youngsters of the academy. Isn't this an advantage? Secondly, it will be easier for the guys themselves to study at the PSG Academy. There will be no such serious pressure put as in La Masia, where only guys with Barcelona's DNA perform. And if you are with Messi's name and have a number 10 on your back, please carry the team from the very first grade. There are not so many compilations with amazing actions of Thiago Messi on the internet now, although he has been studying at the Barca Academy for several years. Who knows, maybe Thiago himself is not very interested in football. But again, in the Parisian school there will be less pressure on him. Perhaps this will help the boy finally fall in love with the game and dive into it headlong. Matteo Messi is just taking his first steps in football, so he just needs a place where he will feel less burden on his shoulders, having more opportunities to play with the ball. We recently showed you what he does in an ordinary yard game. It's just fantastic to watch from the site. Be sure to check this video out if you haven't seen it yet. If Matteo gets into the hands of a good coach and takes the notion of training seriously, then he really grows into a worthy replacement for his father. And we are not joking at all. Matteo has a much more explosive and stubborn personality than his older brother Thiago, and this can help him succeed in his future career. 
And of course, don't forget about his skills, which are already showing up now. The boy is about to turn six, and the character of a cool footballer is already waking up within him. But hold on a second. Why talking only about the kids? Let's talk about the PSG Academy, because it's on its pitches that Thiago and Matteo are going to improve their magnificent skills. Leo could hardly have found a better facility in Paris. Still, PSG invests a lot of money in development, and the guys train in more than comfortable conditions. Moreover, they would not be accepted to some school center like Clairefontaine. For that, one needs to have French citizenship and confirm the high level of skills on the football trials. PSG school is not the most popular in France, but great and worthy footballers are also graduating from it. For example, Kingsley Coman, who now performs at Bayern Munich. It is noteworthy that a year ago, it was he who scored a goal for his home team in the Champions League final and deprived them of the trophy. Well, well, who else graduated from this school? Prancel Kimpembe, who continues to appear in the main squad. Goalkeeper Alphonse Arella stayed in the club system for four years until he rose to the starting 11. Patrice Evra once spent the season at the academy, and Adrian Rabiot spent two years at the club's little teams. Right now, the main star of the academy is the Dutchman Xavi Simons, who moved to Paris from Barcelona a couple of years ago. According to him, playing for two years at PSG, he was able to focus on the physical component, having boosted it greatly as a result. This, however, is not enough for the main team of the Parisians, but still, there are more to come. Will the kids be loyal to PSG forever? This is unlikely, to be fair. Maybe those fans who predict the guys returning to La Masia in a few years will be right. We know in what close bond Leo has been with Barca for many years, that he has his own business in Barcelona and his own luxury home. Messi and his family will definitely spend the next two years in Paris, and no one knows what will happen next. So, it's too early for PSG admirers to reckon Thiago and Matteo into the club's list of future legends. We hope you enjoyed this video. We will continue to monitor how the path of Thiago and Matteo in football will develop. It's very interesting to watch them grow. Who knows? The blood of the greatest footballer still flows in both of them. It was Inside Football. We watch football from a different angle. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.